Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who is just a huge fan of privacy, Gardner. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, Google's flock problem. Uh, they can't seem to build a flock. <laughs> <laughs> The web standards process is pretty slow and unpredictable. Now that third-party cookies have a sunset date where they're not gonna be available anymore in any web browser, many advertising agencies have been proposing ways to uh, track web denizens across uh, different websites um, and use that data to make a ton of money. But where advertising used to be sort of an ad hoc thing uh, in the age of third-party cookies, these agencies are now proposing ways of standardizing advertising across the web. As we covered in a previous video, Google has proposed something called Flock, or Federated Learning of Cohorts. And they've built this surveillance scheme right into Google Chromium. And yeah, I said Chromium. Chromium is the MIT licensed web browser that Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, and many other web browsers are based upon. And Google's proposed surveillance API called Flock, Federated Learning of Cohorts, is built right into Chromium. Now it's called federated because it's built right into your browser. So, you know, it's it's relying on the software on your machine to do the surveillance and cohorts because it groups you into supposedly anonymous groups of uh, or cohorts of people who share similar interests, thereby allowing Google to target you based on your interests. But both legitimate browser vendors and Chromium repackagers have almost unanimously said no to Google's Flock API. And those who haven't outrightly said no to Google's API uh, proposal have probably done so out of self-interest. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. According to The Verge, Brave said, the worst aspect of Flock is that it materially harms user privacy under the guise of being privacy friendly. And Vivaldi had a little bit more to say about this. We will not support the Flock API and plan to disable it no matter how it's implemented. It does not protect privacy and it certainly is not beneficial to users to unwittingly give away their privacy for the financial gain of Google. Mozilla said that it would not be implementing Flock in Firefox. They said, quote, we are currently evaluating many of the privacy preserving advertising protocols, including those put forward by Google, but have no current plans to implement any of them at this time. They continued adding, we do not buy into the assumption that the industry needs billions of data points about people that are collected and shared without their understanding to serve relevant advertising. That is why we have implemented enhanced tracking protection by default to block more than 10 billion trackers a day and continue to innovate on new ways to protect people who use Firefox. What about Apple's Safari, right? Uh, for all the hubbub that Apple has, uh, you know, made about having a private system, a private ecosystem, you know, all the all the lip service Apple pays to end user privacy, you know, you would think that it would raise an eyebrow if they decided to go along with Google's proposal. Now on Twitter, John Wylander, who is a WebKit engineer at Apple said, we have not said that we will implement Flock and uh, we have our tracking policy prevention. That's it for the time being. Serious standards proposals deserve thinking and I appreciate Brave sharing their thoughts. And that's a really important point to uh, reiterate here. Google isn't just adding Flock to Chromium, right? Google is proposing that Flock, the surveillance technology that they develop become a web standard built into every browser, built in probably to every device, every smart device in your home. That's what Google ultimately wants. So that's why I find it interesting that while, you know, Brave and Vivaldi and Firefox have said, no way, Apple and Microsoft have been a little bit more diplomatic in their approach to saying no. Oh, right. I haven't told you what Microsoft said here. Uh, let's talk about it. Quote, we believe in a future where the web can provide people with privacy, transparency, and control while also supporting responsible business models to be a vibrant, open, and diverse ecosystem. Corporate speak. <laughs> like Google, we support solutions that give users clear consent and do not bypass customer choice. That's why we do not support solutions that leverage non-consented user identity signals such as fingerprinting. The industry is on a journey and there will be browser-based proposals that do not need individual user IDs and ID-based proposals that are based on consent and first-party relationships. We will continue to explore these approaches with the community. Recently, for example, we were pleased to introduce one possible approach as described in our Parakeet proposal. This proposal is not the final iteration, but an evolving document, said an anonymous corporate-speak Microsoft drone. Wait, 
Parakeet? What the hell is Parakeet? Well, it's Microsoft's proposal for interest-based targeted ads built into your browser. Parakeet stands for, and I quote, private and anonymized requests for ads that keep efficacy and enhance transparency. I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs> that's what Parakeet stands for. And that's just about the most Microsoft name that I have heard since Microsoft Xbox Series DirectX Generation X Direct. And all you need to know about Microsoft's proposal here is that browser vendors would run a service uh, on their side that would, uh, quote, anonymize ad requests from the browser. Sure, okay. That just sounds like tracking cookies with extra steps. All you need to know here is that there really are only four major players when it comes to defining the advertising API for the web going forward. They are Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Mozilla. As far as I know, only one of those companies has not proposed an actual advertising API of its own, and that would be Mozilla. And yes, even Apple has proposed its own uh, web standard for advertising. And you can find links to these down in the description. And look, there are ethical ways to do advertising on the web. Mozilla has it right here. You don't have to track everything anyone does on the internet in order to serve ads that might be effective. You don't need to violate end user privacy. You don't need to uh, track without consent. But it's pretty clear that there will be uh, competing standards for a while to come when it comes to online ads. Standards that are built into every major browser. And said standards are being decided by some of the biggest tech companies in the world. So you can bet that uh, Microsoft and Apple's diplomatic rejection of Flock is for their own self-interest. Since if Flock ends up being a flop, <laughs> Apple or Microsoft will need Google to back one of their proposals for those proposals to become the web standard. And I really hope that Flock is a flop. But I would love to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that there is an ethical way to do online advertising where it doesn't have to invade end user privacy? Let me know down in the comments. Have you read any of the proposals by these companies? What do you think of browser vendors reaction to Flock? I'd love to hear from you guys. Sound off below. I think that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. I, I wanna give a special shout out to uh, Glenn Steen and the other amazing folks over on Patreon and who have become members here on YouTube uh, for supporting my show. If it wasn't for them, I would not be able to do this. Uh, I have been able to put so much more time and effort into this channel because of amazing people like you who support this show. And so if you believe in the work that I do and you wanna see more content like this, let me know by becoming a member on Patreon or becoming a channel member here on YouTube. Really appreciate it. That's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you guys later.